Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Capricorns. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of September the 20th to the 26th, 2021. As you know, this is a general, and that means that not every single card or the energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you out there on the planet, but I'm sure some of it will, so take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe to those that it does. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel, for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing and clicking the bell so that you get notified when any of my cards readings are out here. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You all know I'm working towards a goal of 50,000 subscribers for my birthday and that's February 23rd, 2022. And by sharing me on social media, your Facebook page, your TikTok page, your, inst in your Instagram page is definitely helping to promote me and get me out there. So I truly love what I do and I want to see myself succeed at this. So your help is definitely influencing my subscribing counts coming up. So I am doing a little bit of a different reading here. You're still getting your nine cards. You're still getting an outcome, an outcome card uh, and you're still getting an all over energy card. I will be using one one beautiful clarification card as I read these as the week progresses each beginning middle end of the week or past present and future energy as you want to take it so let's see what we have here my beautiful beautiful Capricorns let's see what we have here spirit what do they need to see what do they need to know what do they need to expect here beginning of the week middle of the week end of the week okay thank you so here we go So coming in behind you in the beginning of the week, you have been given the tower, you've been given the four of swords, and you've been given the three of wands, two of wands, sorry. Coming in in the center of your week or possibly the energy you're feeling now, you have the knight of pentacles, you have the high priestess in, the, in crossing over energy, and you have the magician now let's see what we have coming towards you at the end of the week you have the death card this has been coming up a lot for others you have the nine of swords and you have the reason to celebrate so something's going to come to clarification here that will work out at the end of your week now let's see what we have for our all over energy card spirit guides what have we got here thank you You've been given overwhelm. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how we can fix this. What do you need to surrender to? What do you need to change? What do you need to expect as an outcome message here? What does Capricorn need to see, know, or expect? What can they do to change this uh, for their greater good and to benefit them this week? One card please spirit thank you and that almost flew halfway across the room and you got surrender to what is so let's see what we have here starting off coming in behind you maybe the beginning of your of your week uh you've got the tower you've got the four of swords and you've got the two of wands so something suddenly could be shifting and changing you're making a direction uh change here and you're rebuilding something you're going towards something new you want to build a new structure a new foundation maybe you're moving into a new job maybe you lost a job and you're going out there and you're going into a new job something that's going to be better for you maybe you made that decision suddenly to walk away from some, a job and go to a new one um, for others it could have been something out of your control that might have occurred and it left you realizing that you no longer want to feel this way anymore so you could be stepping out and maybe opening your own business a passive income or maybe even full-time work for you but you don't want to be left here again in this position of a sudden change that you maybe not have been in control of but you're definitely moving forward in a positive direction because this is rebuilding this is foundation this is rebuilding a new foundation now um, the tower moment talks about that and I don't ever worry about it but whatever this situation was it could have left you feeling depleted emotionally and it's time for you now to step back take a time out call a truce from life around you and get your rest this also depicts that you know the fact that you need to think about refocusing you need to think about rebuilding 
building that foundation and structure for stability. And, you know, also thinking realistically and being practical and being able to turn a situation. If you think about it in reflection on your own, when you're taking this time out to rest, you can turn a shift of situation, uh, you know, from a bad situation to a good situation. The two of wands talks about collectively getting together with someone else, collaborating ideas and efforts, partnership, uh, not doing things on your own. Uh, two of wands is partnership. It is doing things with someone else. And perhaps you are going to uh, share ideas or even job interests uh, with somebody else to help you work and build this new foundation. You might be going the distance for your job, you know, putting in the extra hours, putting in the extra time, uh, you know, equally dividing up something here amongst the two of you um, this is saying don't go out on your own this is saying that you need to have someone else excuse me while I pull my chair up here uh, you need to go out there and be able to work with someone else together. The strength in togetherness here, the strength in partnership. You could have to travel for your distance or maybe you're dealing with people on an international level. Uh, you may be planning a trip for pleasure or for business here. Coming in, um, you know, I think you need to consider getting your rest. You could be pushing yourself very hard here with the changes that you've had to make by working extra hours, going the distance uh, for your job, uh, trying to apply that effort into it. So make sure that you get your rest. I apologize for the noise going on around me, but they're doing the roof above me. Now, coming in in the center of your week or perhaps the energy you're feeling right now, you have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the High Priestess, and you have the Magician. So, you know, energy shifting here. I think you're working towards a goal here. You're wanting to uh, build up uh, something beautiful here. And I think that you're going to be able to do that. Just pace yourself. Because the Knight of Pentacles talks about taking your time, not rushing into something too quickly. Being able to plan your move and doing it uh, carefully this you know particular night is the slowest moving night uh on the zodiac and he doesn't rush in and have to plan uh lean or, or have to depend on plan b he knows that if he plans his move he will succeed so take your time process what it is you're doing and plan it i think you're going to be doing research here with the high priestess as you do plan this move so you can create the magic that you want you know going to be able to see things that isn't right in front of your eyes and realizing that oh i have to do more work there's something that isn't here i need to investigate i need to research i need to go into the shadows and find it and you will this is also about secrets being revealed at the perfect time for you and it's a her being able to have the ability she trusts her intuition when she thinks you know that things need to be done and things aren't all there presented uh you know right before her eyes she goes into the background and she finds it so i think you're doing research here uh planning something here to go towards rebuilding this new foundation with your job or your career the magician says you've got all the resources there my friend you could you could also be getting unexpected resources and help from someone else coming forward with time, effort, support, or even maybe a silent partner coming in that says, hey, let me help invest in this so that we can, we can build it and we can uh, see success together. Because I do see partnership here and working with another person. But the universe says you've got all the resources now, my beautiful Scorpios. Pardon me, my beautiful Capricorns. Scorpio must be on your mind. You might be dealing with a Scorpio this week. That could be who maybe you're partnering up with. I don't no, but anyway okay let's see what we've got here as we move through this week it's odd that that would come up so capricorn here we are coming in towards you what do you have to look forward to what uh, you know what's coming in at the end of the week you've got the death card you've got the nine of swords and you've got the four of wands so you're obviously worrying about something here you're overwhelmed because look what you've got the hard work we love can leave us feeling burdened drained and burnt out among other problems so you may be feeling that you're pushing yourself too hard here and and this is why you got the card that says you need to rest up. But it's okay to want to be focused. It's okay to want to do the research and try to create uh, the, the, the legacy and the success we want. But lean into your partner here. Maybe this other person here is able to take some of this load and worry off of you. This is needless worry, okay? Uh, you need to get your rest. You need to stop worrying. You're bringing this into the equation yourself, especially when it comes to uh, nighttime. Don't take your worries to bed with you. You're going to have reason to celebrate because you've got a brand new rebirth here. You're going in a new direction. Something ends and a new beginning starts. And that ending started here with that tower moment that created you change. Moving forward. Endings, new beginnings. 
And, you know, it could have been the end of a job, a career, a relationship. It could have been the end of a contract, a phase in your life, anything. And now you've got this rebirth here to be able to look towards your future with vision and promise and success. Don't be afraid of this new direction you're going in. Don't be afraid to, to you know, be positive about it. You're planning your move here so you can create this and don't allow yourself to become overwhelmed because you can create this beautiful outcome. And you're going to do that. Look what you've got here. By planning your move, by being careful, by doing your research, by leaning into your partner here or someone in partnership with your job, <clears throat> you're going to be able to pace yourself and celebrate something. You know, maybe you're celebrating you're celebrating success, you know, the accomplishments that you're making. Or maybe you're celebrating an occasion, buying a new house, relocating, partnership, new business, anything like that. It could be a beautiful engagement. It could be a wedding. It could be anything. Some of you could be moving back to where you used to live um, or creating a new home and a new foundation. But you're definitely going to want to get together with community friends and your soul pod to celebrate that. So don't worry so much. This is a brand new beginning. I always look at it that the universe is giving us a rebirth and an opportunity <clears throat> to go forward and recreate the things and make the changes that you want by planning them, doing the research and, you know, getting and pacing yourself in the process. So I wouldn't worry anymore. Don't lose your sleep, my beautiful friends. You don't need to be overwhelmed here. Okay. Now, what do you need to surrender to? What do you need to change? What do you need to accept? Surrender to what is. Flow with what is instead of fighting it. When you can't change a situation, compassionately accepting it exactly as it is will bring you peace. So again, I, you know, when we look at these two cards here, the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords, it's always about feeling, uh, you know, overwhelmed, feeling like you need, you need to rest up. And the universe is saying exactly do that. Okay, get your rest. You will get through this situation. Um, don't take things so personal i think you're thinking of things on a more heart level taking things compassionate and to heart uh, which is fine but you need to rest up and not take on other people's burdens so i think it's easier to let go and let god now you're doing the work here <clears throat> Okay, so Capricorn, you're doing everything right here. You're planning your move. You're making the changes for the better. You've been given this beautiful chance of rebirth to go forward. And I think you're going to have reason to celebrate at the end of the day. So please allow yourself to step out of that, that box of worry. Because worry never helped anybody. It never created a prosperous and successful path that opens up for us. It holds us back. It causes blockages and boundaries to be set. So I think, you know, just... Set, step back. You're doing everything right. Realize that, okay, so that you don't overwhelm yourself, all right, and you don't overburden yourself uh, with worry. Well, let's see what we got here for clarification, my Capricorns. Let's see what we have. But at the end of the day, you know, you're going to be able to celebrate this new beginning, this new movement forward uh, that's happened for you. And that's okay. You know, we go through these phases in life where we have to deal with change. And we either embrace it or we re we fight it. And if we fight it, that's when we come become overwhelmed. So just surrender to it. It's going to be okay. Now, let's see what we got here in the beginning of the week, the Tower of the Four of Swords and the Two of Swords what have we got here for clarification you have fast movement so the delays are going to be over this sudden movement to make change is for the better this is often referred to getting busy uh staying occupied stop staying occupied uh the delays are going to be over and often it means that you know this is the, these are the wands of cupid as well you could be meeting somebody new and we I talked about partnering up with somebody here maybe you're going to meet somebody new on a compassionate level and you're going to be able to work things together whether it's in business or in love but I do think that you're going to see instant results coming in for tests or exams that maybe you have had to go through um, but definitely you're going to be getting busy so buckle up those shoot bootlaces my beautiful Capricorns and hit the road running coming in in the center of the week or the energy you're feeling right now with the knight of pentacles the high priestess and the magician you have the hermit so the hermit is all about being on your own personal journey here being able to know that you have the resources to light your path and find the answers to your questions you're looking for you could be digging deep into more spirituality you could be meditating more to manifest what it is you want reflection um, but also recuperating rejuvenating and you're going to be able to have those resources to help you you could be helping other people 
Maybe you're going to become a, a life coach, a mentor for other people, a teacher of your wisdom for other people because you do have the ability to light the path for other people. This could be your dream here. This might be what you're working towards, but you're definitely on your journey. For some of you, you might be pulling back from a relationship, taking a time out from someone uh, that you need to think about and reflect on for you to go forward in this powerful new direction that you're going in. <clears throat> Coming in with the death card towards you and the nine of swords and that beautiful celebration card, you've got the three of cups. So not only did you get the four of wands, you got the three of cups. And again, this is card of celebration. Beautiful situation coming into you that you want to celebrate, whether it's an occasion in your family, in your soul pod, engagement, marriage, partnership, announcement of a birth, uh, you know, somebody graduating, an award, you know, housewarming, whatever the case is, accomplishments that you're making to get together with other people, you are definitely going to be celebrating the end of this week. I love it. Well, my beautiful Capricorns, this is your reading for this week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful positive outcome here to look forward to for this week. Don't allow yourself to get overwhelmed here. Get your rest so that you can be ready to hit the road running to go towards these beautiful goals that you have here. And I do think that you will be relying on the help of someone else partnering up with you to help you go towards the same goal. Making those plans and delving deep into it. You've got rebirth. You've got a, a beautiful outcome here of being happy and celebrating this new direction. Get ready to get busy though. And let go and let God accept that this is meant to be. The universe is sending you this for a reason. I truly want to thank you again for watching my video and know that I always stand in that circle of love and light for you. And let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon. Much blessings, many blessings, and much love.